What do they drink in Montenegro? I don't want to offend anybody. Let's probably not go there again because that ended badly. How many people in Montenegro? Have you checked that? Yes, I have. Oh, so let's let's hear more about Montenegro right after this. Hello, I'm, Hiya. I'm Toy. I'm Goy. And welcome to another, another very busy weekend with all those Eurovision entries coming it's lucky in. Lucky we like Eurovision, isn't it? And this would be hard work if we didn't like Eurovision. Well, if you didn't like your vision, we wouldn't make this channel. Today, we are going to react to Montenegro entry for Eurovision 2019. Every uh, reaction we are doing, we're hearing some facts from our Woohoo! dear guy, if you read it correctly in the... I hope these are all correct. <laughs> <laughs> so Montenegro has a population of 688,000. Oh, small. From the pictures I was looking at, it looks absolutely beautiful though. It used to be Serbia, Montenegro. Independence in 2006. It means Black Mountain <laughs> in Italian. Black Very... Mountain? Yes. What does it mean, Black Mountain? The mountain that is black. It's quite obvious, I mean... <laughs> Why is the mountain black? Was because, there a fire? No, there's a lot of red soil, and I guess in the mountain it looks a different colour. The oldest olive tree in the world is in Montenegro. It's over 2,000 years old. Do you think they can still produce olive oil from that olive tree? <laughs> Probably a bit dried up. <laughs> and also, this is particularly interesting to me. In 1992, yes. when, I guess before it was Montenegro, it was the first country to write text in its constitution about protecting the environment. I like that a lot. Also, I read something, there's the most southern fjord in the world in Montenegro as well. So what? Fjord. What's that? Well, I thought that was just the name for a lake in Scandinavia, but it must be a separate thing because they've said it was a fjord, not a lake, so maybe I should have researched that. If you are from Montenegro and yes. watching this video... Let's tell us about that fjord. Tell us more about And the this. tree. Does the tree have a name? Does that olive tree have a name? Ooh. Yeah, I'd nice. call her Shirley. Shirley. <laughs> So, as they got their independence from 2006, mm -hmm. they appeared only 10 times, so they missed a couple okay. of times. So they tried pretty much from off the bat. However, they made it to the finals only twice. I have to be honest, I can't remember any song. Today, we are going to react to a group, the Mole, and they are singing Heaven. Heaven. Are there six people? I think so. In the group? I think so. so yeah. Six and Three it's a ladies. unisex group. It's like S Club. And it's important to say every reaction we are doing, we are giving our own honest opinion from a first hearing of the song. There is no clip. We are reacting to Demo Evan starting now. I thought it was going to be a bit more climactic in the chorus. And it sounded really well produced to begin with. The percussion and the piano and the little bit of synth sounded really, really slick. But the chorus was a little kind of like, oh. <laughs> I think six people. I think six people 
might be too many people singing. You're limited with what you can do on stage if all six people on stage are the singers. I agree. And, and uh, even three sometimes can be too many. Um, what can six people do that three people can't do? Unless, unless they would have done a really, really smart um, um, harmonies where they yeah. put the ladies and the men together to build up in harmony. That doesn't, it hasn't that happened. doesn't happen yet. It sounds to me like each one of them wants to be heard. As far as I'm, what my ears there's backing me, vocals, there is but no there aren't backing harmonies. vocals from each one of them wants to be in the lead. That's yeah. what I'm trying to say. These verses are nice, though. His voice. The verses. There's lovely synths there. That's what I thought was going to come in the chorus. It's soul, more soul. I'm, I'm looking for more soul, and there is no soul. It's flat. It's like... But it's very nicely produced. All the layers of music sound lovely. But I think their voices aren't taking it really high. Oh. So much potential in the arrangement and the production of that song, but it didn't come together in the chorus. I mean, it was very nice. I liked it, it was nice, and there's a lot of scope for them to all to just be belting different things at the end in that final chorus. This is the first time we are reacting to a studio version. We are reacting to a studio version because we haven't found any live performance. So mm -hmm. if there is, apologies, we couldn't find. Always when you hear a studio version, it sounds better than what it sounds on the stage. Musically. So, it sounds, it sounds better crisper. than what you yeah. will sound like. And even with the better sound of it in the studio version, I'm just imagine how it's going to be performed live. There are too many there, too many too many voices there yeah. that don't don't, that working do, together. don't do any justice to each other. Yeah. Something that can work for them is if six of them will look really spot on, like really attractive spot on, with, like the ladies will come up with really brilliant uh, outfits. The same, all wearing the same kind of theme. But the song itself won't hold, and the song itself is one of those songs that people will use them, I'm, I'm afraid, to just do other things. It's not, mem it's not uh, uh, memorable in any way. But for a happy, upbeat, cutesy pop song, mm. it's nice. It's not making you go, oh my god, I can't take no, this. No, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't horrible. It wasn't horrible It at was all. generic, but it wasn't delivered in a generic way. Yeah, yeah, and I, I, do, and I do agree with you. The arrangement at the beginning and everything, the music and beats and everything, it was, it was nice. It was really nice, but... So that over the UK song this year, a thousand times. I don't think I ever want to hear the UK song ever again. This was, was good. <laughs> the thing is now, we are forbidding ourselves to hearing ESC radio. Because, <laughs> Accidentally heard one of the pre-selections yeah. for Czech, Czech, didn't we? Before it was chosen and we didn't want to hear anything. Once we are back to ESC radio, <laughs> that is all of yeah. probably we'll hearing hear Hearing them more often. Maybe it will make us think differently yeah. about this song, but... First reaction. Sorry. Nicely produced song. Too many people singing. Oh. I'm regretting my decision yesterday to take Trek through over Australia, but it's too late now, I made that choice. Well, and... you, you know, and you, couldn't, you couldn't take back your vote for Hungary in the <laughs> last year, so you already vote. I'm happy to take uh, Australia with me to I'm, the next... Uh... I'm still taking Czech through with me. Sorry, Monty. So you're not changing your mind? I can't change, can I? I've left Australia behind. <sighs> I... <laughs> it's hanging on that pole. It's, it's still back there. <laughs> it's no. not on that pole. <laughs> yes. <laughs> please. <laughs> please. <laughs> also, the b image we can see of the group, there's no cohesion in the way they look, really. They're all dressed. A song where you've got a group of people, you need everything to come together. You know where they all come together. They all get to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty dark. <laughs> Gosh, I don't think that sounded how you meant it, did it? <laughs> Please let us know in the comment below what you thought about what you thought about the Montenegro entry. If you like this video, thumbs up. Um, please consider subscribing our channel, mm -hmm. and we will be back very soon with another song. See you all. See you in the semi-finals, Montenegro.
Bye.